Hi, I'm Julie Kay. I'm from Fredericksburg, Virginia, and I attended the Minneapolis training. Hi, I'm Christina Farver from Sterling, Virginia, and Julie was my mentor at the first virtual training in 2020. And we are so excited to be here and to have experienced getting to lobby for the Farm Bill and the IRA, keeping the $20 billion set aside towards improving uh, the access for farmers to the many wonderful programs that the USDA and other programs offer. So we were so happy to have this opportunity to advocate in Congress for the Farm Bill because we are so passionate about this climate crisis. We are really in jeopardy. We're at an urgent point and we need to act. So this was an opportunity for us to put all of that passion into action. Um, both Julie and I are mothers and we are just fighting like mother bears for a livable future for our kids. Um, in particular, my passions are the oceans. We can't survive without a healthy ocean. And I've learned so much from climate reality and one of the things is we also can't survive without healthy soils. So to have a healthy soil using regenerative farming methods and supporting local small farms is really the key. Um, the agriculture industry produces at least 10% of the greenhouse gases. That's according to the EPA. And that's why this bill in particular is so important, but also why this whole movement is so important. And if we can do it, you can do it. And it's going to take all of us because this is a huge fight. Well, Christy always says things so beautifully and, and so passionately, and, it, and it's so true, and it's simple things that farmers can do and that individuals can do um, that you learn when you're listening to the things the farmers can do. You're like, well, I can do that at my home with, with my garden or you know, making sure that I plant the wildflowers to bring the pollinators. And you know, even though I live in a city, you know, I can participate as well. Yeah, absolutely. There is a place for everybody in this movement. Go to the Climate Reality website and find out how you can get involved. And you won't regret it. <laughs> um, it felt so empowering to talk directly to our representatives. You know, often they will hear messages from paid lobbyists. So they really appreciate hearing these real stories. Julie and I don't have any experience doing this, so we were a little nervous, to be honest, when we started, but it was awesome. We are so happy to have this opportunity. We definitely want to do this again. If we can do this, you can too. Absolutely, and it, it is. It's empowering, but it's also after COVID, you know, you kind of became a little unit upon yourself and, and the interactions with the community are now beginning to happen again and this was a big leap into from doing local advocacy issues into doing national and really it's very exciting and it's nice to have that kind of uh, power, the power of your voice. Yeah, it was also great to just be with friends. Um, Julie and I met through Climate Reality and we'll be friends forever in this fight. And we got to connect with other leaders here today. And it's been amazing. Absolutely. We recommend it.